Good morning from Pupidem Me. Pupidem Me sunbathing. And uh, so, <coughs> next installment of my pieces on anti sense. <coughs> Sorry. So, I mentioned in my last video that in anti sense there is civilizational redesign. And the first example of that in the anti sense storyline is a place called Climate Town. So Climate Town, I'm going to try and explain this without dropping any spoilers, um, is a, it's a refugee camp for climate refugees, but it is designed and built by climate scientists who are also climate refugees. So um, two Pacific Islanders lose their homes to a storm and they end up in a UN mandated camp, as usually happens in such cases. But then they float a video uh, appealing for people to come and help them build this new kind of refugee camp. So what? So the essential principle behind what they're doing is that the technologies that we need are all there. We have them. And they're pretty simple and they're pretty cost effective. What we need is a social system that puts it all together and avoids the toxicity and exploitation that is part of our systems today. So that's the plan and they put it into effect. Um, of course, previously to this for seven years, they have been trying to get sponsors and organizations to come on board and build this city because their initial plan was to replace the cities which are in danger of coastal inundation with new cities that would ditch all the bad technology of the past and update urbanism for the future but nobody comes forward to sign up for this. None, no city says, fine, we're going to do this. So eventually they realize that they can only do this with people who have lost everything, who have lost all stake in our society and who are willing to begin again from scratch. So that is what they end up doing. So that's the first iteration. There will be many more in this universe. <laughs>